For more on this, we're now joined by NHK Rules senior commentator Amma Hideo. Great to have you with us. Thank you for having me. So the leading consensus is that Armenia suffered a de facto defeat. How did we get here? Uh, basically, the local Armenians didn't get enough support from their home country. No, it's a lie, Russia. Uh, Moscow has about 2,000 peacekeepers in the region. They mediated the ceasefire but didn't intervene to stop Azerbaijan's attacks. The Azerbaijani military had also secured, secured key highlands and routes, putting Armenia at a further disadvantage. Armenia had no choice but to accept this humiliating ceasefire agreement. But there were all, already signs Armenia would concede back in May. Uh, Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan had announced he would recognize Azerbaijan's sovereignty over the region on the condition that the safety of its residents was guaranteed. So he likely, to, likely knew Armenia could win another conflict with Azerbaijan. So as you mentioned, if Russia is Armenia's ally, why didn't it help? Uh, Russia is bound by a collective security treaty uh, to assist Armenia. However, Moscow's priorities have shifted. Russia doesn't want to upset Azerbaijan and its ally, Turkey, who are increasingly uh, influential. And since most of its troops are fighting in Ukraine, Russia didn't uh, have the resources to help Armenia anyway. So it pivoted from providing military support to mediation. Furthermore, the relationship between Armenia and Russia has not, has not been great. This month, Moscow expressed displeasure when Armenia conducted joint military exercises with the United States. All this explains why Russia wasn't too eager to help Armenia. Right, so what's your focus now? About 120,000 Armenians live in the nagorno karabakh region. There are uh, concerns about what all this means for them. Some argue there may be a humanitarian crisis in the making. Armenian news agency report negotiations between the local Armenian population and Azerbaijan will begin Thursday. Azerbaijan may demand the punishment or extradition of Armenian leaders. Many have already chosen to flee out of fear of persecution. This may be the beginning of the end of the conflict, but it's unclear what this means for the region's Armenian people and what the international community will do to protect them. Thank you, Amma Hideo.